today we are installing blinds that we ordered. These are cellular blinds that we ordered from blinds.com. And we wanted to make sure we had it figured out. <laughs> so we did this first one. Uh, so you can see the cells and it's a black, that is a blackout. The only thing I was saying is I kind of wish it had a magnet to stick, but I think that's not bad. It'll be okay. So we'll show you installing the second one. There are two windows that are the exact same size. We've got two brackets. These are smaller windows. They're just, what, over 22 inches wide. So they sent us the appropriate amount of brackets. So we got those two. And we already measured on the first one how far from the edge So what were we doing, Tom? Five inches? Five and, five and a half, roughly. It's the outer edge of the first bracket. And then that same measurement from the opposite side. The instructions say to do it so it's going to be equal distance from the edge and then the two brackets in between, <laughs> but we didn't quite come out perfect, but for the small of a space, I think we got them even enough separated that it won't be a problem. What do you call that tool that you're doing the pre? Uh, what? <laughs> it's not a drill, but what that? It is. It's a push drill. Push drill. Okay. So it is a type of drill. Handy to have just to get the holes started when you want to be precise. Yeah. The measuring. Okay. As you can tell, I'm real precise. <laughs> oh. So you're measuring the distance from the edge to make sure they're both the same. So we don't want our blinds to be at an angle. <clears throat> uh oh. It's really hard to tell. the bracket. Drilling again. Now I have to vacuum. <laughs> That's okay. So now we had to unpackage the rail and there's a sticker on the top that we got out. Gotta get off 
this we don't want that to show through even though it should be underneath um, and a little trick that my stepmom taught me uh, and Tom you use lighter fluid yes we're still living in boxes um, <laughs> so I have some Zippo lighter fluid and we just use that to get the sticky you know that annoying part that you can't get off so you're supervising as always okay. There's some other sticker. That's on the top. You can't see that. Oh, okay. This one's actually on the... I was thinking this one was on the top. No, that one's on the one that has the white C. Okay. So, I'm just putting some lighter fluid on paper. You're trying to film yourself. So, <laughs> yeah. And then you can see the stickiness there. Pretty much just gets all the all the glue off. It doesn't smell great, but that goes away after a minute. Ooh. Okay. So it's all cleaned up. Okay, so we're ready to put it up. And there was a trick to clicking these into place, right? Well, you just gotta... Start with the front? Yeah, I can't... Of the bracket? <sighs> oh, come on. I did this before. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we were able to move it over just a little bit. So we got even gaps now, on the left and right. And now we just need the little handle part. Here's the little, it's a little plastic. And we gotta read which way piece. it goes. If you try to do it the wrong way, I don't remember. Already know the measurement. <laughs> so we gotta figure out to, half. We're gonna have to hang that out. Yep. So and I'm start from the top. Right? I think so. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where is the hook? That's because we're doing it backwards. Oh. Even though it said the other way. It's gone. Shouldn't take that long to do it. Okay. I hope I'm right. Where'd the tape measure go? Now I probably got it way off because I had to move it around. Uh, it's it's pretty close. So. so for a do-it-yourself, these are not a bad option. Again, this was from Blinds.com, which I believe is part of Home Depot. Um, you just walk through the measurements, they tell you how to measure, and you order, you know, just follow the steps to order online, and they ship it to you, and you get to install it yourself, but that wasn't too difficult. We got these two, and we have one more window to do this larger one. So hopefully that goes as smoothly as these did. saw us install these two uh, cellular shades from blinds.com uh, not sponsored by the way unless they would like to sponsor me um, but last night was our test with these two installed and they really did 
uh, black out the light. You know, there, there were supposed to be a blackout uh, lining. That's what we ordered. And that did work because number one, there's a lot of snow outside. So that's bright. Now, obviously at night, um, that doesn't make a big difference, but we keep our uh, light on our outside light on below and previously we could see that light through these windows um, at night and that was totally blocked out. So today uh, my husband Tom installed the third one on this in this room. So let me turn around and show you. So we had one more window, we ordered the exact same cellular shade. Um, you can see the size difference. So we have two that size and then this one larger, I want to say it's a 48 by 48. So this one actually came with, excuse me, three of the brackets that you put up on top. And he was able to install this, you know, no problem by himself today. Um, so again, it's got the, the little handle that you put on at the very end and just very easily you can pull it up and down. Still kind of think it would be nice to have like a magnet or something, um, but it actually came pretty close just pulling it to having it all the way to the bottom. And I was commenting that now I really noticed like the air, you can feel the air coming through, um, which I don't, you know, didn't really notice we were losing that much air previously. Um, but again, just wanted to show you the cellular form. And on the inside, if we didn't show this already, it's actually white. But again, it's a white blackout. I would recommend these. They're not difficult to, you know, measure your opening, follow the instructions, and then order them. And shipping didn't take too long, um, maybe a week and a half, two weeks. Um, and then installing them was not, uh, not too bad either and didn't take too many tools. Here comes Tom on his ATV. We keep having to fix the cable keeps breaking. Uh, you use a cable on your winch to control the up and down on the snowplow attachment. And uh, keeps breaking and then we have to reattach it. Wow, that's a lot of snow. <laughs> so we just got it working again. It's a pretty powerful little ATV. It's got a 570 CC motor. So he just raised it up, raised up the snow plow to go backwards. <laughs> it's a fun little machine. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Um, we put out home improvement type videos. We have uh, a pretty good library of build videos when we, the house was being built. So please take a look and enjoy the next video.